in November of 2021, a Johns Creek, Georgia police officer stopped in a parking lot to eat his lunch. And while he was there, he noticed a Camaro that had a sovereign citizen license plate on it. And before that officer could leave the parking lot, he spotted a man getting into the Camaro and he began driving. So the officer pulled out right behind him. And as soon as the Camaro got onto the road, the officer pulled him over. Okay, there's another person car here at this point. I copy, 210 radio. Copy a traffic stop. Okay. Medlock Bridge Road and Abbott's Bridge Road. It's gonna be a bogus tag out of the uh, Boss Republic, Sierra Sierra. Golf, Romeo, Alpha, November, Delta, SS Grand, out of the Boss Republic. It's on a blue Chevy Camaro. Hey, sir, how are you? <laughs> My name is Officer Winner with the John Street Police Department. You got your license with you? The reason I stopped you is because you don't have a valid license plate on your car. I need your driver's license from you, please. Alright, um... Can you go ahead and turn the car off for me as well? I appreciate it. Can I reach in the back seat? Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to take my seat better. That's cool. National. Um, You're a foreign national? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you I don't have a driver's license? I, I have my I'm having a US passport. I'm not driving right now, I'm just traveling. Okay, can I get I'm your US passport for me? Yeah, I could. it's in my I just left the gym. I guess you see me when I left the gym. Okay. Yeah. It's in my it's in my um what's in my but I'm trying to I think it's in my bag in the in the trunk. It's in the trunk. Yeah, can you? Okay. You want to... All right, go ahead and step out of the car for me. Is it easily accessible in your trunk? It is. It okay. is. It is. Easy. Go ahead and grab that for me if you don't mind. You have insurance on the card? Yes. Do you have an insurance card? Yeah, I have one in the car. It's in the car? Yeah, I, I thought I had my... I just got the gym, man. I don't, I don't Appreciate it. An insurance card if you got it. Run that if you could, please. Can you just let me look in the glove compartment to get the... I got That's the fine. insurance papers in there. Appreciate it. Go ahead and step on back out for me, please. What do you want me to do? Step on back out for me. We're going to have a seat on my bumper over there for me, okay?
That's your car? Yeah. Where did you buy it from? Where I buy it from? Yeah. Um, I bought it out of, um, I bought it from the individual. From where? Two years ago. Here in Georgia? Uh, in, I think it was Birmingham. Birmingham? Did it have an Alabama tag on it at the time? Uh, no. No? Can you copy a VIN for me, please? Just hang tight for me, okay? Turn around for me. Turn around for me. What's going on, sir? You're being detained for right now. You got a warrant for your arrest. I can fit a, a, a finger into both cuffs, okay? It's 210. I have one male detained. Go ahead and confirm that, please. Face my bumper for me. Where is it out of? What for, you know? Spread your feet for me. Get you out of the rain, I'll put you in the back of my car for right now, okay? Hello. Just have a seat in there for me for right now, okay? Alright. Do you have his passport? Huh? Do you have his passport? Let me go look at the hit more. I still want to get a vent off somewhere else on that car. I, that was from the, um, that vent that I read was from the door. From the door? Yeah, you can try and, uh, if you want, you can try and get the hood one or something. Yeah, I will. Um, give me his passport so I can run him. There you go. I'll take a look at that. Try to, try to get a vent on the car. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Just a lot. I'm not going to return to that event. I tried 2016 and 2017 for it. It might be an uh, issue with GCIC for it. Okay, it turns out it's fine. Clear if you could. Uh, try running that through Alabama as well, please. Say again? This seems to be the problem with my motor. Your motor? No, we're trying to get a correct VIN off of your car. Mm -hmm. Because that tag is not a, a valid Georgia Georgia tag, so. We're just double checking to make sure everything matches up. You said you've had that car for about two years? Um, two. Okay. Is there a reason you don't have a Georgia tag on it? Because I'm just for an okay. When you operate a vehicle on the highways of the state of Georgia, you have to have a Georgia tag and registered vehicle. No, sir, you are driving. Hey Raven, my name is Officer Wynn. I'm with the Johns Creek Police Department here in the state of Georgia. I've got a vehicle pulled over on the side of the road for a traffic stop and I wanted to verify that they had valid insurance coverage on it. Okay, do you have the policy number? Yeah, give me one second. Yeah, I do. Are you ready? 
going to be C as in cat, 1-8. Christopher Arrington or Arrington. I'm showing the policies current. Current? Okay, awesome. Thank yeah, you so much. Alright, bye. Did he tell you when he got the car? Two years ago. He said he's had the car for two years. And he's a uh, foreign national, that's why he hasn't registered. He's had the car for two years and hasn't registered the whole time. Because he's a foreign national. Mm -hmm. So, what is your verdict of why he's got the car? Okay. What are you, what are you writing? Um, I'm, I'm hitting him with 42.8 for the unregistered car. 4241 for the improper tag. That's not a tag issued by the state of Georgia, and okay. he's displaying it. Um, and uh, license to be exhibited on demand because he didn't provide me with a driver's license. Okay. <laughs> um, no one's saying you didn't have to go there by register. Okay. Um, and then it would also be attempting to conceal the identity of the vehicle. I don't remember what 40 code that is. I can look it up real quick. But... What's T10, that? go ahead and start you nodded for one, please. 42, 427. Okay. Okay. Alright, um, yeah. I'll explain everything to you. You're going to get a, a couple of charges. Um, your car is getting impounded today because it's been in run register for over two years. Um, in the state of Georgia, when you purchase a vehicle, especially when it's from out of state, you have to update, you have to uh, get a, a, a valid tag within 30 days of moving or 30 days of obtaining a tag. It's been two years. Um, and if you buy it from a personal, like a private seller within the state of Georgia, which you didn't, but you have to get, a, you have to get it registered within seven days. Clearly, we're over that time frame as well. So. Um, your car is getting impounded today. Um, you're getting a couple of you're getting a couple of tickets, and we'll we'll Alex, uh, we'll go everything from there. Two forty. That event will be one golf, one Foxtrot Hotel. Out of Georgia and Alabama, please. Ten to forty. It's coming back fifty-two. Fifty-two. To a Camaro. Yeah. Okay, that was off of one of the other stickers on there. Oh, I didn't see that one. Yeah, it's a hidden one. Good catch. Well, this just changed. Yes. It did. Okay. Go ahead and start, please. You forward it to me. You can also disregard my head. I'm just double checking. Send it to me, please. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Arrington, so I am waiting on more further information on uh, on the on the vehicle. Okay. Um, so upon further investigation of the vehicle, making sure that it's registered properly and everything like that, we were able to find a, a, a secondary VIN of this actual car. This car comes back stolen out of Alabama about two years ago when you told me you had initially purchased the vehicle from somebody over there. Okay? So I'm awaiting confirmation on that stolen vehicle. You said it came like a what now? Say again? You came like what now? It's stolen. That's a stolen car. About the same time period, you told me that you had come into possession of the vehicle, okay? You have it registered, or not registered, you have it insured in your name under the VINs that I've run from the dash and the door stamp uh, to State Farm. So, so where are you getting another VIN from? I don't understand. Somewhere over the door. So I'm waiting for that. Um, based off of what the computer system and the, uh, the GCIC operators tell me on that, your, your night is about to change. Um, for the worse, okay? I'll be back with you shortly whenever I get confirmation on that, all right? Ah. So, which which VIN did you see? This VIN way up here tucked up ah. under the door latch is the legit VIN. Oh, they, they tried to make it close. They, they got really close because this one's That's the same, the same as, that. as that one. Yeah. But this one is stolen. There's a couple other locations on here 
that you can find hidden bins. I just haven't looked for them yet, because that one was easier to look for. They said there's one on the firewall too, but I don't know exactly where it is. They also said on the app either it was on the firewall, and if it's not on the firewall, it, it may be on the passenger uh, floorboard. They or... said there should be one up in here too, but. I can't seem to find that good one. Good deal. Good. Yeah, good catch, man. Good deal. I told you that was a mistake. You were ready to just cut them loose on tickets. Well, I saw the door stamp and I was like, oh. Okay. Uh, no, that shit fake too. <laughs> That's all fake as hell. Let's see. Should it be on the engine as well? Good. Well, yeah, I figured there's one on the engine. I just don't know where to look for it. Yeah. And there's one on the chassis too, right? One on the chassis. And there should be one under the passenger seat, but I'd have to rip up the carpet. And they already said they're confirming, right? Yes, yep. I already asked them to confirm it. So it's North Star, Alabama? Yes. Yep. Stolen out of a GMC dealership. I don't know where the hell Murfreesboro, Alabama is. I know where Murfreesboro, Tennessee is, but yep. I don't know about Alabama. 615? Oh, I mean, I guess you wouldn't know. I had time to eat my dinner, and they never shut up. So, uh, All right. Oh well. Well. Good, 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 good catch, good. man. Thank you. I said it was stolen. I'm just going to leave the owner blank, to be honest with you. Yeah, um, because... It was out of Murfreesboro, Tennessee, right? Correct. I'm just going to put stolen out of Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Because the hit says it was stolen from GMC car lot in Murfreesboro. Say again? What does that mean? What do you mean, what does that mean? The car is stolen. That's what's going on. Okay, that's fine. What do you say? Yeah, it's not stolen. Okay, it is though. All right, Mr. Arrington, at this time you are under arrest for possession of stolen property. Here you go. Here's another charge. Where's that? Weed. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Um. <sighs> okay. Um. Take that, if yep. you don't mind. I'll put it in there. Since you're impounding the car, can you do the search? Mm -hmm. um, anything else you find? I thought I smelled a little bit of it, but it was kind of faint. Good for you, because so. COVID wiped out my smell. Yeah, um, it did. I'll add that on here. Anything else I find, I'll put in my sub, and I'll do the evidence on it. All right. All right. Thank you. Anytime. Yes, sir. <laughs> Serial number Hotel Lima Yankee 5067, HLY 5067, on a Smith & Wesson 40 caliber. Well, then, this just keeps getting more and more fun. This car is the gift that hey, keeps on giving. Um, this is the bag he was digging around in when he was looking for his passport, correct? Yes. There was a gun in there? Yes, there was oh, a gun. Oh, that's, that's... I don't annoying. like that. I don't either. Well, I'll bag this too. That's... Oh, this just keeps getting it's, warm. Uh, it's a good experience, you know. I'm going to charge him with um, felon, felon possession of firearm. Because he was actually charged with that too in Alabama. Oh, cool. Um, I already ran a CH. Two tender radio. Show me en route to headquarters with one adult male. Starting mileage 80544.
Hello? One adult male for a theft by receiving? <laughs>